Hey everybody, I have a pile of stuff that I need to go through and I decided to take you guys along for the ride. The first one is this random black package. No idea what it is. Uh, so we're gonna just pull it open here. And it is, ah, okay, cool. I needed this. So this is for something that you may already see on my channel by the time this video comes out, but this is for something called Project Legacy. I am building a PC that will allow me to access all of the legacy slots and hardware. And what this is, is this allows me to use SD cards as um, ID hard drives. And so the idea is that I'm going to be able to just swap them in and out. I do have some 40-pin uh, IDE drives, but I you know, don't really want to mess with that for my... Uh, project legacy thing. So I want the, the ability to hook IDE drives up, but I have no particular reason to run one every day. So I'm going to make something with this card where I can swap out different operating systems. Maybe I'll have a whole pile of SD cards so I can have uh, all of the operating systems to go with all the slots and all the ports. So this thing was about 20 bucks. I honestly don't remember if this came from Amazon or eBay, but I will uh, post a link in the description. And uh, yeah, so I can just swap cards in and out as if they were hard drives. Next up, we have a yellow envelope. And let's see. Ah, oh, no, I thought I knew what this was. Okay, these are... So in my last mailbag, which I still haven't released, I had a whole bunch of Wemos D1 mini parts, and this continues that theme. So what I love about the Wemos D1 Mini is it is an ESP8266 board that is compact, about the size of a big postage stamp, and uh, it's got plenty of speed, a fair amount of pins, uh, and it also has this really cool form factor that you can pop things on top like relays, or in this case, this is an RGB LED, and I know uh, there's a lot of square inches for uh, a single RGB LED, but there is something nice to being able to pop this thing on top. So I have a specific project that I need these for, and so I bought five of these RGB shields for the Wemos D1 Mini, and so I will be able to remotely trigger these things and have them be a different color. Uh, so that's all I'm gonna say about that. But I got five of these things. I feel like they're around seven or eight bucks total. Uh, these came off of eBay. I remember I had them shipped off of California, which is why uh, they got here later than everything else. So yeah, Wemos WS2812B RGB Shields. Next up, uh, I do know what this one is because I opened its sister package, uh, but this is a set of zip ties. And I ordered these a long time ago. I've actually ordered them twice and they never came. Uh, and finally, I just, I saw Voltlog had some on his channel and I gave him a third try and I ordered them and I got them. Um, and so I have another set of them over here, but these are, um, these are zip ties with labels on them or places to put labels. And I think I mentioned uh, several times I've been working on a bus and things like that. But when you're talking about uh, zip tying wires, it's kind of nice to be able to come in here, you know, and put a number on it or something like that, or put one of those, uh, you know, brother P-touch labels on it or something like that. So you bundle a bunch of wires together, then you label them. Uh, you know, maybe you put some clear tape over that or you use a like I said, a brother P-Touch label. So I got them in clear and yellow uh, just for a little bit of differentiation. I think they're the same length. They make these in a bunch of different sizes. You can get them in different lengths and different sizes up top. Uh, I might even have more coming in, but I ordered these two sets and they came in from, I believe, AliExpress. Next up, we have a gift from Banggood. And so let's take a look at this. Make sure I'm not showing any confidential information. There we go. We have uh, something that I asked for a while ago, and they actually came up with it to send it to me. Uh, it is... I'm just going to take it out of the package and show you. I don't want to cut that little wire. Now, this might be a little over my head. I'm going to work on trying to get this uh, up and running, but this is a full-band LTE antenna. And this may be a GPS antenna, it may be a GSM antenna, I'm not 100% sure. 
And then you have this thing here, which is, I believe, an, yeah, it's an Espresso, so it's an ESP8266 with this uh, SIM 7000G on it. And uh, so it's got USB-C. It has, uh, looks like some power management, a power switch. Let me get this up here a little higher. So you've got your ESP, you've got your SIM 7000G, USB-C, this other connector, not really sure what that is, uh, a couple of buttons, some GPIO, power switch, power management, 18650 battery thing uh, made by Lilygo. Now, why do I want this? Um, I'm going to let you in a little secret. I use Google Fi for my uh, cell service, and when you have Google Fi, you get free data anywhere in the world. And you can see a little space for a SIM card there. You get free data anywhere in the world. I've used it in China. I've used it in Africa. I, I streamed the entire Super Bowl two years ago. Used 16 gigs of data in South Africa. And um, not a problem at all. And so uh, you get, not only do you get your, your own service, but you can have five free data-only SIMs on top of that. And so I thought about it. What if I could get one of those data only sims to work with an Arduino board? Like how cool would that be to have some kind of off the grid Arduino? And so I'm thinking about things like, let's say if I want to be notified if my Wi Fi is down or if I want some kind of backup thing to work if my, if my uh, internet is out of my house, well, I can go over the GSM, the LTE cell network. Uh, maybe I want to take this thing overseas and use it somewhere over there. I have no idea. Um, and I'm guessing the code is going to be a little tricky for this thing, but I've wanted one of these for a long time. And uh, the people at Banggood were nice enough to send it to me. So now I just have to step up my game and figure out how to program it. So this is the LilyGo. Uh, let's see if they have a better name for it. It's the uh, XY 2012, we're going to call it. Uh, yeah, so this thing is going to be sweet. Next up, we have an unknown Amazon package. I mean, I've ordered it relatively recently, but I feel like I left it sitting there so that I could share it with you guys. Let's see what it is. We have a package inside of a package. And, oh, this is a gift. Okay, this is a gift from the people at Key Studio. Now, I normally buy all that key studio stuff that you see here. They're not a sponsor of the channel. Um, but I really like their stuff. And so they sent me this, uh, Respeak 2 mic Pi Hat version 1.0. And so this thing, uh, has its own power, has a button on top of it. And, uh, I don't remember. I think that, yeah, that's a speaker, uh, headset thing. You've got two speaker jacks or, and a microphone. Yeah. You got a I squared C GPI or GP12 and a speaker jack here. And so the idea is, you know, and then you've got these two microphones left and right. Um, when I do things with the Pi Zero, I love the Pi Zero board, but when I build things like shooting galleries and, you know, all those types of things that you see on the channel, uh, I can't really use the Pi Zero because it's such a pain to get audio out for all those sound effects that I do on Node Red. And so I wanted this shield to try with one of the Pis and see if I could maybe add sound and possibly microphone stuff to a Pi Zero that doesn't have it. So uh, thank you, Key Studio, for sending me this. I really appreciate it. And, uh, yeah, they are the best, man. I, you know, again, you talk about sponsored links and things like that, but I spend my own money on Key Studio products all the time, uh, because I know they're just going to work. I know they've got a good wiki and all that kind of stuff. So, uh, I don't really have a whole lot of doubt that I'm going to be able to get this thing up and running. So excited about that. And last but not least, we have what feels like a way oversized bag because it feels like the only item is right here so let's cut it out and see what we got they always put that little slip in it with my address so i try to be careful uh, getting it out so okay this looks awful similar to this i have no idea what this is so this is a pie hat from key studio and i don't know if they made a mistake and sent me two of them uh I don't remember buying one, but yeah, I guess they sent me two of them separately in two different size packages. So, uh, 
Hey, I don't know if you guys know this, but I buy things with my own money from Key Studio, and uh, they've seen my videos on here, and they appreciate the channel, and I appreciate them. So thank you for a second pie hat. Maybe I'll find somebody to be generous to with this one. So there you have it. I think this is a pretty unique haul. We have the uh, ESP32 with the cell and GPS. We have the WS2812B RGB shield. We have this uh, thing that acts as a hard drive over um, an SD card. We have two of these pie hats and we have these zip ties. So hey, thanks for watching. I will put the links in the description. It means a ton to me if you use the links. It means a ton to me if you subscribe. I hope you're having a great day. Hope you're staying safe during this pandemic. And hey, thanks for watching. See you later.